Hello, uh, my name is Nellie Deutsch and I'd like to introduce you to WizIQ Education Online. And uh, let's get started. This is how you start. First of all, you go into the WizIQ.com website and you either sign in or join. If this is your first time, you click on join and you follow the process. You have to, it's password protected, so you need to confirm your account through your email. But I'm going to go in, since I have an account, I'm going to go into the sign in. And then you can go in with your Facebook account if you like. You can log in that way or you can simply add your email. Your email is your username. Okay, so let me go in with my email. Okay, and my password. All right, and I'm in. Okay, now once you log in, notice there are three parts. Okay, this is once you create your account. You'll see your name and you'll see your courses, the live classes that either you schedule and then the classes you have, content, and tests. This is how it's organized on the left. Okay, first of all, your courses, live classes, content, and tests. Okay, these are things that you can add. You can create courses, schedule live classes, add content, upload content, and create tests. That's the left. On the right is information about you. Okay, your name, and under that, if you open it up, you'll get more information. Okay, you've got your profile, your settings. Okay, profile, settings membership status help and sign out if you're in a public place make sure that you sign out don't leave it all right next you can invite friends you've got members how many members contacts followers and so on okay that's the right now you can also have your preferences go into that and set them up as you wish okay and the topics that you want to teach i'm going to go into my courses okay these are courses that either i created or that I joined. Okay, so I'm going to go into my courses because I want to go into the course. All right, so these are my various courses. I can charge for my courses and I can give them for free. Okay, it's up to me. Okay, now notice here on the left. Okay, on the left you've got create a course. I can create a new course. I can add a course widget that I can add to my and advertise it in different places on my blog and so on. And then I have my courses and notice the courses that I created and the ones that I'm enrolled in and popular courses on WizIQ. All right, so this is under courses. If I want to go back and see the left again, I go into home. Okay, so let me go into home. I'll click on home. See, WizIQ has a lot of things and sometimes it's confusing. Okay, because it's very rich. It's actually uh, a place, it's really educational online because you can do so much. All right, so here we are back again into my courses. Okay, create courses and then live classes, schedule a class. Now I'm going to go into my classes. I'm not going to show you how to schedule. You can do that and follow the instructions. I'm going to go into my classes because I want to show you the particular class that I have in mind. Okay, so I can access the classes, view them as a presenter or as an attendee or all of them together. The launch class is the class that I've already registered in. Once you register, it'll say launch. And once the class is up, you see view recording. Okay, and you can also download the recording. So let's do that now. Let's go into a class that I'm in. I'm going to view all because I don't remember whether I created it or whether I joined it. Okay, and the class that I want to access is this one for TESOL 2013. Okay, this is the class and so far there are 40. It's public. I can go in and edit it 
which means it's my class. I can also add it to courses that I give, whether free or paid. And this is where I launch the class. So I'm not going to launch the class right now, but I might want to go in and see what I have there in case I want to edit. So this is the class. Once I schedule a class, this is what will appear. Okay, so I've got the link here. I can embed this anywhere I wish. I can share it on Google+, Facebook, Twitter. I can add it, and this is very useful, to my Google, which is what I do, Calendar, as well as Outlook. All right, now look to the left. I can invite attendees. I'll show you how in a minute. I can give permission whether I want them to download or not download my recording class information. I can edit and add it here. Recordings, and you can go through all of these. I can also cancel or change the class time. So let me go into the first one, invite attendees. You can see these are my contacts. They're all here. Okay, I have a list of contacts under different organizations. I decided I can have folders for my contacts under different names. Okay, testing public classes, MOOCs, I can decide on that. And then if I want to invite them to this particular class, I click on all and then their names will appear on the right. Okay, but they're all invited anyways. Okay, but I can remove them, the ones that I want to remove. Okay, and I click here. All right, so I don't want to do that right now. I can also invite people by adding their emails. Okay, so this is where I add people's emails. Very intuitive, very easy to use. Okay, but you got to read. And we've got no problems with that. Okay, so now I'm going to go into class information. This is the class information. I can click on that. And this is the information. You can see it right here. I, all right, and I'm going to go into, let me go into the launch class. I'm not sure that this is the right place to launch it, but let me see. Okay, this is a launch class. I just want to show you this. Once the time comes, you'll launch your class, this particular class that I'm hoping you'll join, the TESOL, Moodle for Teachers, um, EVO 2013 class. Okay, I'm in. All right, so this is just to show you how it works, a little bit about the virtual class. This is the virtual class. All right, here we are. Okay, this is what it looks like. I'm going to... Um, okay, so this is not the whole thing, but, you know, trust me, it's all here. I can upload content, okay, that I have in my library. There, I'm going to do that now. And the PowerPoint comes up. There it is. Okay, and I can go through the slides. Okay, I go through the slide. This is very brief. I think you should play around with it, try it out. I can also check my device settings here. Okay, and I can also add over here YouTube videos. I can have polls, breakout rooms that only open up when the class, when there are people. Okay, there's nobody to break up. Okay, so let me go into the device settings. Here they are. Okay, so that's me. Hello. And uh, these are device settings. Okay, here I can check my microphone, my webcam, uh, and then test my mic. And I'm going to do that right now. All right. Oops. My connection is slow. Let me go back there. Okay, that happens um, with a webcam. Sometimes the connections do slow down. But let me do that again. Device settings. Very intuitive. All right. So let me test the speaker. Okay, that's working. Test my microphone. You see the bar going up and down here? This is really important. Make sure that the bar is here and not on zero and not too high because if it's too high, it's going to get noisy and you don't want it to be noisy. And you'll hear it noisy, not over here. You'll hear it noisy when, the, well, at least other people will hear you really loud and you don't want to come out as loud with lots of statics all around you lots of noise okay so there it's all ready to go so i'll put on the x that's it and that's basically the class you don't have to do very much uh the rest i'll let you practice and see how it works so thank you very much for joining me and i'm looking forward to seeing you at the uh tesol with web technologies. Well, actually, it's uh, Moodle for Teachers. 
Okay, so I'm looking forward to seeing you there at TESOL. Bye for now.